So hello and good evening. This is Ruth Pozuelo from Curval.com and I am back. Sorry about last week. I had uh, too much work with the tech days, but it is finally over. So I have now more time to continue doing the Power VI videos. And as promised today, we're going to go through the solutions for the Power Query challenge that we announced uh, not last week, but the week before. And the challenge is about uh, going to the Tech Days website and get the information about speakers, both the sessions and also the images. And the response was actually really, really good. So I've got like a lot of uh, solutions to show, which uh, I'm really, really happy about. Thank you for that. There's a lot of gold in the files that I've got sent. Um, I was actually planning to do a video for all the solutions, but there are too many and there is too much. I mean, this, this stuff that you gave me is too good to actually do it too fast. So I'm actually going to stick the elephant in pieces. I'm going to do this step by step. I will try to do a few videos this week to show you some of the solutions and uh, who knows, I might be able to do it everything this week. I'm not sure about my time though, but I'll try. So for today, I am going to show you how I actually took the images from a website. So if you don't know what the challenge is, what we're going to do in this video, we're going to go to a website and we're going to get the, the image URL for, um, for some, uh, uh, let me show you, just uh, let's start the video. Okay, so this is the website, Tech Days Sweden. And what we want, what I needed for Tech Days, was to actually get a list of all the speakers, all the rooms, all the names, the sessions. And as a bonus, the image URL, because I was doing a Power BI report where we were, you know, reporting live on scores, speaker scores. And uh, what I did was actually came here to get that information. I couldn't get it otherwise at the time that I needed. So now I'm going to show you how I did it. This is the quick and dirty solution. And then I will actually show you how the fine dining is done. So because I've got like super cool um, cleaning procedures. I don't know how to call it, but no, it's usually like a really nice code to how to do this in a more elegant way. So what I did, I just went to the site and then you go into view page source and then I just Google image. I, I was, I suppose that, you know, the images will have some image tag, which they do. You can see it here. It has a class a speaker image. And here is the URL that we want. And this is the number of URLs you can see here in the yellow part that we need to get. So what I actually did was I copy this information, you know, starting from here all the way here. And then I pasted it in Power BI. You will see the find dine solution where this, um, they get it directly from the site and, and I will show you that. But for today, you it will be quick and dirty. So just copy that and then I went into Power BI and pasted it. So now we're here in Power BI. Here are all the participants for the challenge. Thank you very much, each and every one of you. If you would like to see their code right away, just let me know in the comment box and I will publish everything on the GitHub. So there is no secrets here. I just uh, will do this on, you know, in a few videos because the information is too good to actually me rushing over it. So um, let me know in the comment box if you want to have these uh, before I actually manage to do all the videos and I will definitely give them to you. But what I did, it was I just copied the code and I pasted it into Power BI. So I just, you know, create the table, pasted everything, and now it was time to clean it up. As you can see here, 
the code is actually very clear. There is again this speaker image class that follows by the actual image of the speaker. So if we copy this, put it in there, you will see that here is our speaker. He is Michael Newstrom. And um, uh, you can also get the name following the code. So here you see the um, speaker image follows by the speaker name. And because one session might have more than one speaker, then everything is in here for one session. So um, what I did it was I split the column by the you know image source because I know that every time there is an HTTP with the uh, let's go back so you see it. So here is you see image source every time that's there the the follow is the actual url for the image split it that remove the other columns that means the beginning because i didn't need it anymore and then i have a beginning of http the next thing i did it was to explain Split again by image source. So I am actually extracting. You see the name, the URL. You will see it. The name, the URL, the name, the URL. You will get this uh, file, so don't worry about it. The name, the URL. And Finally, I've got all these splits to get all the speakers and there will be some blanks for those sessions that are only one speaker. I just needed it the first four because, you know, there were up to, I think at the most, it was like eight speakers and uh, I there, there was no way that I, the eight images will, you know, have enough place in my report and actually look nice. So I just cut it to four. So. It was, I think, just one instance that there were four or eight. So, yeah, but I, I had to compromise a little bit there. So in my code, you will see that there's only four URLs. And, and then I rename everything. I have a speaker URL, speaker one. And then this is other code that we don't need. Perhaps I should put it like that so you see it better. Speaker one, speaker two, speaker three URL, and then speaker three, speaker four URL, and speaker four. And here I had my four speakers. And the last thing I did was to actually add a custom column where I will actually concatenate all the speaker names into one column. Okay, because that was going to be my key. There was no one speaker that had um, more than one session by themselves. So this speaker's column is unique for all the sessions. So here I have everything I needed when I've got the images now. Uh, how I did this, what you do is you know, when you're doing if conditions, once Power BI has found the true for the first one, it doesn't look at it again. So what I did was I said, okay, if speaker four, three, and two are empty, then give me the name of a speaker one. So if there's no speaker four, three, and two, just give me speaker one. If there is no name for a speaker three and four, then give me a speaker one concatenated with two. If there is no name for speaker four, then give me one, two, and three. Otherwise concatenate everything because then we have four speakers. Okay, so you will see again this code, so don't worry. And uh, this is how I did it. You will see again the fine dining code that um, you can actually create this directly from the website. Um, but this is one way to do it. And there are others that I will show you in the next video. 
Okay, so uh, this is all for today. We will continue making videos about the solution, how to clean uh, this um, data from, from the website, directly from the website. And uh, I, will, I hope I can actually do a few videos this week to just show you everything, so you don't have to wait a long time. I, I will try to make the time for it. But uh, anyhow, uh, this is all for today. I hope you have a good Monday. If you like the video, if you like the solution, uh, let me know by liking it or by sharing it with somebody that perhaps would like to know how to do it. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe. I publish Power BI videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Fridays being dedicated to DAX and Mondays often, but not always, to Power Query Code. Make sure you click the bell to receive notifications when I publish a new video because YouTube has stopped doing that, okay? So yeah, that's all for tonight. Have a great evening. Bye.